Hello friends, welcome back and today we are going to install and run Windows on our Android device without routing. The steps are easy and simple to follow so stick to the video and let's begin. Grab your precious device and head over to Chrome. Then on the search bar, search for WinLater version 3.2 make sure you go for the link that has the winletter apk plus obb file make sure the obb file is already for you to download so go ahead and download the apk and download the obb and once the download has finished. Head over to File Manager and go to Internal Storage. Then go ahead to the Downloads folder and you'll find the WinLater APK that you downloaded. So once you click on WinLater, you'll click on install and the application will be installed shortly go ahead and click on open and you'll be prompted to allow permissions for the application to run if you are unable to find the obb image just click on download file and click on cancel then what you need to do is you need to install cx file explorer once you install cx file explorer go ahead and click on main storage go to the download folder and locate the obb you downloaded long press to select then the option here what you're going to apply is click on copy then you need to head over to back, navigate back and head over to Android folder. Then go ahead to the OBB folder. Go to com.winlater and the application permission and the folder permission is denied. So click on OK and use this folder and go ahead and click on allow and go ahead and click on paste and the obb file will be copied to the com.winlater obb folder so go ahead and close the WinLater APK and go ahead and reopen the WinLater APK and the OBB image will be installed shortly and you have no items to display what you're going to do is go to the icon, the plus icon on the top right hand corner. And here you'll have to set the settings. For instance, this is the screen resolution which you're going to apply to our phone but in a PC mode. go ahead and select video memory size and once you're done with the settings here you can select the graphics card the graphics card driver you want to use with this container so go ahead and name your container you can give it a name any name of your choice it could be your favorite name any name of your choice will work so go ahead and click on 
the tick the pick the tick icon and container will be created now once your container has been created go on the three dots on the top right hand corner and click on run and hereby it will start up and once it starts up this is how it looks like it's and um, it's amazing right okay the section d is the downloads folder let's go and install the pc software on our device for instance i'm going to install a mobile unlocking tool on this mobile phone once i double click on the apk the setup will pop up and once the setup pop ups here i'm going to agree with the terms and conditions then i'm going to click on next then i'm going to click on next then i'm going to click on next and the exe will be installed on our device after the exe the tool has finished installation you can click on finish and launch the tool or you can use it later on the time of your choice okay let's try to install another exe file on our mobile phone and let's see if it will run like a normal pc okay for instance i downloaded minimal adb and fast boot and i did not choose the portable version i chose the apk that will be installed the one that requires installation i did not take the portable one. and here comes the setup and once i click on next i'm going to click on next And then I'm going to agree to the terms. Then I'm going to click on next. Then I'm going to click on next. Then I'm going to click on next. I'm going to create a desktop icon. And I'm going to click on next. And therefore I'm going to click on install the minimal adb and fast boot will be installed on my device and i'll be able to run commands on just my phone all you require now is an otg that will help you to connect to other devices via usb cable or you can try usb you can try wireless debugging if you're not able access otg via usb debugging okay and here are the commands and control and once i'm going to enable the rts and once i click on ok i'll have options like a normal keyboard but it's a bit complicated here is the alphabet the alphabet all you need when you need to type here is the alphabetical section okay and the numeric section is right on top just on the left okay here we have space enter backspace etc the alphabet still looks fine for example let me type adb devices
as you can see i have typed adb devices and this is a mobile phone okay when i hit enter of course it will try to see connected devices but currently i don't have any devices attached on my device here you have a full functioning windows running on a mobile phone you can now install and play games that mobiles can't support you can also run softwares and unlocking tools you can also unlock other mobile phones using a mobile device so thanks for watching and please subscribe for more